Basavanna, Basavanna was a 12th century philosopher, statesman, Kannada poet in the Shiva focused bhakti movement, and a social reformer during the reign of the Kalachari dynasty king Bayala I in Karnataka, India. Basavanna spread social awareness through his poetry, popularly known as Vachanas. Basavanna rejected gender or social discrimination, superstitions and rituals but introduced Ishtalinga necklace, with an image of the Shiva Linga, to every person regardless of his or her birth, to be a constant reminder of one's bhakti devotion to Shiva. As the chief minister of his kingdom, he introduced new public institutions such as the Anubhava Mantapa or the Hall of Spiritual Experience which welcomed men and women from all socio-economic backgrounds to discuss spiritual and mundane questions of life in open the traditional legends and hagiographic texts state Basava to be the founder of the Lingayats however modern scholarship relying on historical evidence such as the Kalachari inscriptions state that Basava was the poet philosopher who revived refined and energized an already existing tradition the Basavarajadevara Regali 13 out of 25 sections are available by the Kannada poet Harihara C.1180 is the earliest available account on the life of the social reformer and is considered important because the author was a near contemporary of his protagonist. A full account of Basava's life and ideas are narrated in a 13th century sacred Telugu text, the Basava Purana by Palkariki Somanatha. Basava literary works include the Vachana Sahitya in Kannada language. He is also known as Bhaktibandari, literally, the treasurer of devotion, Basavana, elder brother Basava, or Basavaswara. Lord Basava. Topic. Early life Basava was born in 1105 CE in the town of Basavan Bhagawadi in North Karnataka, to Madarasa and Madalambike, a Kannada Brahmin family devoted to Hindu deity Shiva. He was named Basava, a Kannada form of the Sanskrit Vrishaba in honor of Nandi Bull carrier of Shiva and the local Shaivism tradition. Basava grew up in Kudasangama, northeast Karnataka, near the banks of rivers Krishna and its tributary Malaprabha. Basava spent 12 years studying in a Hindu temple in the town of Kudasangama, at Sangamishwara then a Shaivite school of learning, probably of the Lakalisha Pashapada tradition. Basava married a cousin from his mother's side. His wife Gangambike, was the daughter of the Prime Minister of Bayala, the Kalachari king. He began working as an accountant to the court of the king. When his maternal uncle died, the king invited him to be the chief minister. The king also married Basava's sister named Padmavati. As chief minister of the kingdom, Basava used the state treasury to initiate social reforms and religious movement focused on reviving Shaivism, recognizing and empowering ascetics who were called Jangamas. One of the innovative institutions he launched in 12th century, was the Anubhava Mantapa, a public assembly and gathering, which attracted men and women across various walks of life, from distant lands to openly discuss spiritual, economic and social issues of life. He composed poetry in local language, and spread his message to the masses. His teachings and verses such as Kayakave Kailasa work is the path to Kalash bliss, heaven, or work is worship became popular. <laughs> <laughs> Literary works Several works are attributed to Basava, which are revered in the Lingayat community. These include various vachana such as the Shatstala vachana discourses of the six stages of salvation, Kalanyana vachana forecasts of the future, Mantra Gopya, Gadachakra vachana and Raja Yoga vachana. Topic: <laughs> Hagiography 
The Basava Purana, a Telugu biographical epic poem, first written by Palkariki Somanatha in 13th century, and an updated 14th century Kannada version, written by Bhima Kavi in 1369, are sacred texts in Lingayatism. Other hagiographic works include the 15th century Mala Basava Raja Charitre and the 17th century Vrishabhendra Vijaya, both in Kannada. Authenticity Scholars state that the poems and legends about Basava were written down long after Basava's death. This has raised questions about the accuracy and creative interpolation by authors who were not direct witness, but derived their work relying on memory, legends and hearsay of others. Michael states. All Vachana collections as they exist at present are probably much later than the 15th century 300 years post -Basava. Much critical labor needs to be spent in determining the authenticity of portions of these collections. <laughs> Basava philosophy Basava grew up in a Brahmin family with a tradition of Shaivism. As a leader, he developed and inspired a new devotional movement named Virashivas, or ardent, heroic worshippers of Shiva. This movement shared its roots in the ongoing Tamil Bhakti movement, particularly the Shaiva Nayanars traditions, over the 7th to 11th century. However, Basava championed devotional worship that rejected temple worship and rituals led by Brahmins, and replaced it with personalized direct worship of Shiva through practices such as individually worn icons and symbols like a small linga. This approach brought Shiva's presence to everyone and at all times, without gender, class or caste discrimination. Basava's poem, such as Basavanna 703, speak of strong sense of gender equality and community bond, not waging war for any cause, and being a fellow devotee's bride at the time of his or her need. A recurring contrast in his poems and ideas is of Stavara and Jangama, that is, of what is static, standing, and what is moving, seeking, respectively. Temples, ancient books represented the former, while work and discussion represented the latter. Basava emphasized constant personal spiritual development as the path to profound enlightenment. He championed the use of vernacular language, Kannada, in all spiritual discussions so that translation and interpretation by the elite is unnecessary, and everyone can understand the spiritual ideas. Basava approach is akin to the Protestant movement, states Ramanuja. His philosophy revolves around treating one's own body and soul as a temple, instead of making a temple, he suggests being the temple. His trinity consisted of guru, teacher, linga, personal symbol of Shiva, and jangama, constantly moving and learning. Basava established, in 12th century, Anubhava Mantapa, a hall for gathering and discussion of spiritual ideas by any member of the society from both genders, where ardent devotees of Shiva shared their achievements and spiritual poems in the local language. He questioned rituals, dualism and externalization of God, and stated that the true God is one with himself, self-born. While Basava rejected rituals, he encouraged icons and symbols such as the wearing of Istalinga necklace with personal linga, symbol of Shiva, of Rudraksha seeds or beads on parts of one body, and apply Vibhuti sacred ash on forehead as a constant reminder of one's devotion and principles of faith. Another aid to faith, he encouraged was the six-syllable mantra, Shivaya Nama, or the Shatakshara mantra which is Om Nama Shivaya. Bhakti Marga as the path to liberation The Basava Purana, in Chapter 1, presents a series of impassioned debates between Basava and his father. Both declare Hindu Sruti and Smriti to be sources of valid knowledge, but they disagree on the Marga path to liberated, righteous life. 
Basava's father favors the tradition of rituals, while Basava favors the path of direct, personal devotion bhakti. .According to Velcharu Rao and Jean Raguer, Basava calls the path of devotion as beyond six systems of philosophy. Sruti has commended it as the all-seeing, the beginning of the beginning. The form of that divine linga is the true God. The guru teacher of the creed is an embodiment of kindness and compassion. He places God in your soul, and he also places God in your hand. The six-syllabled mantra, the supreme mantra, is its mantra. The dress, locks of hair, ashes and rudrashaka beads, place a man beyond the cycle of birth and death. It follows the path of liberation. This path offers nothing less than liberation in this lifetime. Topic. Roots in the Vedanta philosophy Sripati, a Virasava scholar, explained Basava's philosophy in Srikara Basia, using the Vedanta Sutra, suggesting Basava's Lingayat theology to be a form of qualified nondualism, wherein the individual Atman soul is the body of God, and that there is no difference between Shiva and Atman self, soul, Shiva is one's Atman, one's Atman is Shiva. Sripati's analysis places Basava's views in Vedanta school, in a form closer to the 11th century Vishishtadvaita philosopher Ramanuja, than to Advaita philosopher Adi Shankara. However, Sripati's analysis has been contested by other scholars. Topic. Legacy and influence The Lingayats, also known as Virasivas or Virasivas, traditionally believe that Basava was the founder of their tradition. However, modern scholarship relying on historical evidence such as the Kalachari inscription state that Basava was the 12th century poet philosopher who revived and energized an already existing tradition. The community he helped form is also known as the Sharanas. The community is largely concentrated in Karnataka, but has migrated into other states of India as well as overseas. Towards the end of the 20th century, Michael estimates, one-sixth of the population of the state of Karnataka, or about 10 million people, were Lingayat Hindus, or of the tradition championed by Basava. Topic. Social reform. Basava advocated that every human being was equal, irrespective of caste, and that all forms of manual labor was equally important. Michael states that it wasn't birth but behavior that determined a true saint and Shaiva Bhakta in the view of Basava and Sharana's community. This, writes Michael, was also the position of South Indian Brahmins, that it was behavior, not birth, that determines the true Brahmin. One difference between the two was that Sharanas welcomed anyone, whatever occupation he or she might have been born in, to convert and be reborn into the larger family of Shiva devotees and then adopt any occupation he or she wanted. Topic. Synthesis of diverse Hindu traditions Basava is credited with uniting diverse spiritual trends during his era. Jan Peter Schouten states that Virashaivism, the movement championed by Basava, tends towards monotheism with Shiva as the godhead, but with a strong awareness of the unity of the ultimate reality. Shauten calls this as a synthesis of Ramanuja's Vishishtadvaita and Shankara's Advaita traditions, naming it Shakti Vishishtadvaita, that is monism fused with Shakti beliefs. An individual's spiritual progress is viewed by Basava's tradition as a six-stage satsthalasadanta, which progressively evolves the individual through phase of the devotee, to phase of the master, then phase of the receiver of grace, thereafter linga in life breath God dwells in his or her soul, the phase of surrender awareness of no distinction in God and soul, self, to the last stage of complete union of soul and God liberation, mukti. 
Basava's approach is different than Adi Shankara, states Shouten, in that Basava emphasizes the path of devotion, compared to Shankara's emphasis on the path of knowledge, a system of monistic Advaita philosophy widely discussed in Karnataka in the time of Basava. Jessica Fraser et al. state that Basava laid the foundations of a movement that united Vedic with Tantric practice, and Advaitic monism with effusive bhakti devotionalism. Topic. Icons and symbols Vasava advocated the wearing of Ishtalinga, a necklace with pendant that contains a small Shiva linga. He was driven by his realization, in one of his vachanas he says Arive Guru, which means one's own awareness as his, her teacher. Many contemporary vachanakaras people who have scripted vachanas have described him as Swayankrita Sahaja, which means Self-made. Topic: <inaudible> Monuments and recognition. The then president of India Abdul Kalam inaugurated Basavashwar's statue on the 28th of April 2003 in the Parliament of India. Basavashwara is the first Kanadiga in whose honour a commemorative coin has been minted in recognition of his social reforms. The former Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, was in Bangalore, the capital of Karnataka, to release the coins. On 14 November 2015, the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi inaugurated the statue of Basavashwara along the bank of the River Thames at Lambeth in London. Basava Dharma Pitha has constructed 108 feet 33 meters tall statue of Basavana in Basavakalyan. <laughs> <laughs> 